Hey everybody, guess what? Walmart restocked again, and look what they did. More Walmart packs. I tell you, I think I'm the only one that buys them there. So let's see what I got. Hey everybody, welcome to the Department of Comics. I am your humble host, Agent DeCamp. Happy to see you here. And today we have some more Walmart packs to open. In this one here, we have a Ghost Rider number one variant. Looks like the Walmart variant. We have a Venom Lethal Protector variant, which I think might be the Walmart variant. Oh, actually looks like it's a second printing. We have Jane Foster the, and the Mighty Thor variant. Looks like a Peach Momoko cover. And then we have the Ms. Marvel and Moon Knight Walmart variant pack. Now these are the ones that comes with two packs in there and an extra book for supposed to be $10. Walmart makes them $9.98. So let's see what we got. Let's open up Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor. Okay. And let's see what we got in here. Well, first of all, we know that Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor is the Peach Momoko variant. So that's right there. Okay. And then we have a Moon Knight number 10 Walmart pack and one of the dreaded Shang-Chi number 12 Walmart packs. So let's see what we got with Shang-Chi. Okay. And the big reveal is going to be Shang-Chi Walmart variant. Ooh, it's a little banged up too, a little crunch in the corner there. Okay, we got a Fantastic Four number 40 variant. There we go right there. Once again, destroyed on the corner. And we have a De Demon Days Blood Feud by Peach Momoko regular cover with a banged up corner. Okay, as you can see on the cardboard, it was banged up. We got the same thing with Moon Knight. No, Moon Knight looks pretty good. Okay. I'm a Fantastic Four collector, but I think I already have that one. I might just open up my own eBay store to sell these things. Okay, we got the Moon Knight variant. We have a X-Men 8 regular cover with MODOK. I think, that, is that MODOK? He's got a Jean Grey. Looks like a Jean Grey mask. I don't know how he could ever pose as Jean Grey. Hmm, interesting. And then we have another Demon Days Blood Feud, number one regular cover, which is crunched in the corner. And now it looks like I see the cardboard is crunched on the corner. Oh well, what can you do? You're getting books for seven books for $10. That's not bad. It's a lot less than the cover price. That's probably more than what they're actually worth if you read the stories. I still haven't read Ultimate X Men 1. That's next on my list. I gotta read that. Okay, we got the Venom Lethal Protector, second printing. And we have a Ms. Marvel Moon Knight pack and an Amazing Spider Man pack. Let's check out Spidey first. Let me know in the comments if you guys are able to pick some of these up at your Walmarts. Okay, of course, we got the Amazing Spider Man. Number 79, Walmart variant. We have a Spider-Woman, number 16, regular cover. And we have a Spider-Woman, 15, regular cover. Well, this pack was a bust. I think I have like seven copies of that Spider-Man, and I already have those Spider-Womans. Okay, Ms. Marvel and Moon Knight. My wife's going to kill me if I keep telling her I'm buying doubles and triples and quadruples and sectuplets and octuplets and so I think I need to start selling them. Okay. This pack here, we got Ms. Marvel Moon Knight, Walmart variant. I'll tell by that. Okay. We have uh, Spider-Gwen Gwenverse, number two, second printing. And then we have a Captain Marvel 39, regular cover. So this one's kind of a bust. Okay, let's go for Ghost Rider. He is vengeance. I think he's more vengeance than Batman. Okay. 
We have the Ghost Rider Walmart variant, number one, Walmart variant. How's the artwork in these? No, it's not too bad. Looks like it's more of a horror book. I'll, I'll have to give this one a read. Okay, we got a new Fantastic Four pack and a Doctor Strange Nexus of Nightmares pack. Let's go for Doctor Strange. Okay. If you watch all my other videos, you know I already have the Doctor Strange. I'll probably have everyone that's in there. Okay, Doctor Strange Walmart. X Lives of Wolverine, number four variant. I don't think I have this one. An Adi, Adi Granov cover. That's pretty cool. And a Hawkeye Kate Bishop, number four, regular cover. Okay, let's open up the Fantastic Four. Well, new Fantastic Four. Number four. The new. Of course, is it still new if it was over 25 years ago? Well, I guess it could be because the time doesn't pass like that in the comic book world. New Fantastic Four, Walmart variant. Amazing Spider-Man 85. Uh, it's a variant. Um, oh, oh, it might be Peach Bromoko after Kirby. So yeah, that's a variant. And then a Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 21. Regular cover. Hmm. Is it just me or is that look like Big Barda? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, last pack, which we already know. We just got one of these in a three-pack. Okay. So, of course, the Ms. Marvel Moon Knight, Walmart, the Avengers 1 million BC, and oh my gosh, another Spider-Man number one facsimile. We saw how many of those I got last time. So let's open up that one and hope for something different. Okay, so of course we got the Amazing Spider-Man 1 facsimile Walmart variant. We have the all-new, all-different Savage Avengers number 3 regular cover. I hate when they put regular covers in here. And then we have regular Avengers number 55 regular cover. That pack was a bust. Okay, last one here. Avengers 1 million BC. Let's see how we fare on this one. Okay, Avengers 1 million BC Walmart. New Mutants number 26. Regular cover. And the excellent number 3. Regular cover. What a bust. Oh, this was a terrible day for the Walmart packs. Well, considering I usually buy them all, it's par for the course. <laughs> all right, well, thank you very much for watching. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell for a notification. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time in the Department of Comics. This is Agent DeCamp signing out, and keep reading your comics.